there are significant advantages to FUE over FUT. So FUT is the strip method where there is a large scar on the back of your head. And if you have your hair grown out, then it can cover the scar, but it, it limits your styling. So FUE is each individual follicle is harvested and then implanted one at a time. It is more time consuming and difficult for the surgeon, but it is much more undetectable. Also, it allows us to go for a huge number of graphs where these mega sessions with high density allow you to have multiple styling options so that you're not limited to one length or one style. In the world of FUE, there's lots of shortcuts that can be taken and the goal is to make the surgery as efficient as possible. So places are constantly trying to find the most effective, most efficient way to do it. Unfortunately, they're not all created equal. There's robotic assistance, there's different tools, different types of FUE procedures that can leave more detectable scarring and results. One of the things that makes Alvi Armani special is that the tools that we use have all been developed in-house and we have spent years of tweaking and adjusting these instruments so that we can get the best results possible. A big component of hair restoration surgery is having a, a donor area that continues to look good and possibly be fruitful in the future. Many of our patients are not just a one-time process. Many of them have had multiple surgeries to address multiple areas. So the goal is to make the donor area as healthy as possible, which requires a strict regimen post-operatively to take care of it. One of the things that we do intraoperatively is PRP, which can help with healing. It can help with the regeneration of hair. Also exosomes are another thing that we offer that can not just help the growth of hair, but can help heal the area. So it can help the donor area to recover fully, which gives you more options for future surgeries if you need it. But ultimately the goal is to look as natural and healthy as possible. One of the things that you look for when you're harvesting, looking for grafts, is the single, double, triple grafts. And depending on what you're going for as far as a hairline or a crown restoration, you might need different grafts. So for a hairline, you're gonna need more single grafts. And if you have robotic assistance, you're not necessarily going to individualize the harvesting process. And with FUE, it's a time consuming process and not only is it a labor of love, there's an artistic component to that as well, making the, the donor area undetectable. Because you can take a lot of hair from the back of the head, but if there's an obvious scarring or, or a bad look on the back, then that can be just as upsetting for somebody than losing hair on top of the head. The Albi Armani experience is unique in that there is a strong artistic component to it. One of the things that's really frustrating about losing your hair is that you start to not recognize yourself. When you look in the mirror and what you see is different than what you feel inside, there's a lot of frustration. And so there is a big component of not just restoring what you had before, but executing a type of facial framing that really delivers the quintessential look that each person is looking for. So each patient is different. Nobody has the same face, nobody has the same background or personality, and these are all features and aspects that we use when determining the placement of a hairline or the different artistic components that go into this surgery. There are some things that you might not think about, not just lowering a hairline and closing the temple angles for a more youthful look, but the direction of the hair, the angles that the incisions are made for hair placement so that it is completely undetectable. So that even with a great result, that is a huge transformation, you can't tell that you had a procedure done. So some of the challenges of addressing the temples are that first of all, it's the first thing that you see. And so one hair out of place can make a big difference. So the angles have to be low profile. It has to be something that looks natural and matching the existing hair with angles that make it look natural can be challenging. So not everybody is willing to address the temple angles, which is 
unfortunate because that's one of the most important aspects of rejuvenating that youthful look in somebody.